How's it going everybody? So I keep getting the request to make a video on which candy should I save for Gen 3? Um, this, you know, so when the Pokemon come out, you can evolve them. Basically, there's going to be none, okay? There's no new Pokemon coming in Gen 3 that are going to evolve from the current Pokemon that we have now. So with that said, we're going to be taking a look at Gen 4 just to give you a heads up as to what the Pokemon are that you might want to start saving candies up for the distant future. <laughs> Let's just say that. Also, pretty cool, we'll be able to see the CP of the Gen 4 Pokemon, all right? So I'm just gonna kinda move it down and we're just gonna go and stop at the Pokemon that you are going to, in fact, have currently that are gonna have evolutions in Gen 4 and all that good stuff. And right off the bat, it shows you the candies, C25 and then 200, you know, the standard uh, deal. All right, so here we go. So far, these are all new evolutions from Gen 4. There's nothing that's going to be from Gen 1 or 2. I think the first one is Haunt Crow or Hunch Crow. <laughs> um, let's see here. Pretty interesting. Um, Gastrodom. Uh, that is a Pokemon that I really like um, in the main series because it has um, an ability called Storm Drain. So whenever it gets hit by water type moves uh, in its ground it just absorbs it and um, heals itself in fact <laughs> uh, I know Pokemon don't have the abilities in this game but um... oh here we go first one up is Miss Magius with the Dusk Stone so there you go there's the first one uh, we currently have Miss, Miss Devious uh, and then we're gonna get Miss Magius so the next one is Haunch Crow with another Dusk Stone so we can look forward to another evolution item when that comes out, Gen 4. Um, I'm not trying to get it all hype or prepare yourself because we haven't even gotten Gen 3. But like I said, the request was highly suggested to make a video on what candies should I save now for Gen 3. And like I said, there is none. Um, but in fact, we will be going over the new stones that are going to be coming to uh, Gen 3 and the Pokemon that are going to use it. There's only one and we'll discuss it and it evolves into two different things all right so as we go down still new pokemon uh we will be getting a baby form of sudowoodo so that's pretty neat also a baby form of mr mime and chansey all right so it's not like you need to save your candies you could if you want to make those evolutions uh, i personally don't even have a mr mime because uh pff, i'm never going to be able to travel to europe anytime soon all right, so um, there you have it for those. Now let's just keep moving along here. Spirit Tomb is going to be one interesting Pokemon. Um, to be honest, it uh, doesn't have a weakness. <laughs> so that that was a pretty cool Pokemon when they first introduced that. Garchomp is going to be beast. Um, Snorlax is going to be getting a baby form. All right. And then we're going to finally get Lucario. That's what I'm talking about. All right. So just move it along and Toxicroak, one of my favorites. All right, so keep in mind this is Gen 4, or not 3. And then Mantine's going to get baby form. <laughs> All right, and then Sneasel's going to be going into Weavile. Uh, Weavile is very nice. Looks like the Razor Claw, a new evolution item, will be required for that one. All right, so now here we go into the juicy stuff. Here we go. This is exactly what you're gonna wanna save your candies for. Magnemite candies for Magnezone, okay? That thing is nice. I mean, it's really good. I remember when they first introduced it, just a beast. Looks like it's got decent CP there too. Lickitung is going to go into Licky Lick. <laughs> never used this Pokemon personally. Uh, I know it's a bit of a tank, but I just never was interested in it ever. <laughs> All right, so a Rhydon is going to get Rhyperior. Oh, and it's got an evolution item that it's going to require. Finally, everybody wanted to talk down on you, buddy. I already knew, dude, your time would come. Rhyperior is going to wreck. Look at that CP Rhyperior has. Let's zoom in on that, if it will let me. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful CP. 3869 uh, prediction there. So keep... Keep your right on candies because uh, you're going to want as many Rhyperiors as you want. Could you imagine the movesets this thing's going to have? 
Um, it might even have a move called, uh, what is it called? Um, rock Wreck. It's like one of the strongest rock moves in the game. Man. Tangula's gonna get a, an evolution. Tangrowth. Very nice. Uh, looks like it's got very good CP coming in at 3110. Not bad. Not bad. All right. And then Electabuzz. My man. Again, here we go with the evolutions in Gen 4. These are the top ones here. All right. It's going to go into Electrovire, which I personally use this in the main series game. <laughs> so it's going to be pretty exciting. Uh, 2904 is its CP. Uh, estimated there so looking good and then once again magmar something that doesn't really get used much is getting a very decent evolution magmortar so another evolution item there very interesting to note that these evolution items are going to be here um, i'm so i'm glad because uh these things are going to be very valuable we're going to have a ton of candies like we did for gen 1 to gen 2 uh, oops it's back out here and uh it's going to be like I was, I remember when I was preparing myself, I had all these Onyx. I was like, oh man, I'm gonna evolve all these Onyx. Nope, nah, I couldn't, not right away because we had to get those evolution items, which is a beautiful thing. So that are, that are, they're just not popping up everywhere. Toga Kick. <laughs> Toga Kick. Uh, Toga Tick is going to be going into Toga Kiss with the Shiny Stone. Oh man. And I personally, and coming up next, Yamega, yeah, oh my goodness, I'm getting so excited here, guys. Gen 4 is going to be the gen. It is going to be the gen just that everybody's going to be waiting for. The most exciting one, to be honest. After that, it's going to be ex very exciting still. But at this point, Gen 4 is going to be the best one. Gen 2, eh. Gen 3, pretty good. They're all, they've all got their nice points. Obviously, new Pokemon. But the highest anticipated evolutions, I feel like, are coming up for this one. So, Togetic. Um, Toga Kiss is going to be 3171. Not bad. Pretty nice. I'm liking these numbers. Really giving me hope here. Really giving me some hope. Now, for my personal favorite, Yamega. Yo boy. The, the Dragonfly. Oh boy. I used him in the main series games with uh, Focus Sash and the Speed Boost and Protect. Um, with Bug Buzz and Air Slash. Man, he would just destroy. I'm telling you what. So I'm excited for that one. Make sure you save up candies for that. Um, I'm probably even going to walk a yam in here just to collect even more candies. All right, now we're coming up on the new Eevee evolutions, which is just very exciting, guys. I'm getting so excited here, and this is not going to be coming for a long time, I know. But it's just fun going over these. But the only thing I'm looking at right now, which I'm really puzzled at the moment, is Leafeon's cp 2193 what is that what does that even mean that's very low and same with glaceon 2387 oh well i'll take it with the grain of salt these aren't set in stone or nothing this is just premeditated based off their stats and stats that we have now and comparison so we'll just have to wait and see very cool two ev evolutions uh leafeon and glaceon uh i enjoy both of those i use glaceon for a while um, I do believe Leafeon is a bit of a tank, so uh, keep that in mind and uh, save up some more Eevee candies for, <laughs> who knows, maybe a year from now when the Gen 4 comes out. Alright, so on to Glygor, and he takes a evolution item, Razor Fang. Not bad. Uh, so we're going to have a bunch of evolution items dropping in on Gen 4, looking good. Uh, he's looking at a CP about uh, 2602. Alright, not bad. Um, yeah pretty good he's gonna probably look really cool in this game too um mana swine or mammal swine he's gonna be going from pillow swine and just a straight up evolution 100 candies so i better start not saving those up here in the future um what 3289 wow that's a beast he's gonna be huge in the gyms uh he's gonna look huge uh he's gonna probably be spawning here too in alaska because these swine nubs and pillow swines are everywhere huh all right, on to my, no doubt, top pick. Not number one, but one of the tops here. Porygon Z from Porygon 2. Holy smokes. So you're going to need the upgrade to get Porygon 2, first of all. And then once you have that, then we move on to the next one. So you're going to need the disc for Porygon Z. 
Porygon Z is going to have a 3072 CP, looks like. Okay. I would expect it to be like 32 or so, but uh, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to push into the 3000s. Mine's going to be in like 29. Then again, it is like a 95%, so I might be able to just make it. All right, then we'll just keep moving along here. No new evolutions. Uh, silly Mario. Uh, Pokemon, I always called him Mario. <laughs> All right, and Dusk Dusknoir. Uh, he doesn't have any evolutions out at the moment. And looks like he's going to have an evolution item. Very cool. All right. And we're just going to keep moving it along. <laughs> Very nice. Nothing else from Gen 1 or Gen 2. Um, and yeah, the Rodoms. Wow. Uh, I wonder how those are going to work. I wonder if we're going to get like an item that's going to, we're going to have to determine what we get. Uh, who knows? Maybe they'll have a special event because the Rodoms in the actual game are just complete beasts, especially the Wash one here. This one is really overused and um, it's good mainly because it's, it has Levitate, right? So, uh, yeah, pretty nice Pokemon there. Um, and then we have the legendaries, the Mew like um, trio here. Uh, Dialga and Palkia and Heatran and Regigigas, Cresselia and these two little things that I never really liked and Darkrai and then we get the Pokemon God Arceus. Uh, now that, for, for, oh God, what the, what is that CP? What is that? <laughs> 4598, are you for real? Well, it is the Pokemon God. Um, I don't know how they're going to distribute that one. I don't know what was up with that, but uh, that's going to be quite interesting. Seems like a nerf is coming down the road for that. But who knows? Mewtwo got one, so. And then Darkrai. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, the breakdown of Gen 4. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the evolution items that we're going to be getting in Gen 3. And what, what Pokemon they're going to evolve into. Let's check it out. Okay, so in Gen 3, there's going to be two no new evolution items uh, from Clam Pearl to Grobice, and you're going to need the Deep Sea Scale for that one. All right, so that's pretty much the only one beside the one that we're coming up on right now. And then we're going to go from Clam Pearl to Haunt Tail with the Deep Sea Tooth. So that's basically it for Gen 3 evolution items. Um, not much more to it. <laughs> Uh, I, I wouldn't know which one to recommend to you, but I uh, just wanted to make sure I put that out there for you guys. So you now, now you know. And thank you for watching, guys. That's going to about wrap it up. Keep an eye out for some more videos. I'm going to be dropping some more today. And thank you for watching and take care.